How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. Do you like my pointer? I, I like your okra. <laughs> oh, okra. Home over the wind. Anyway, so folks, we're really excited. We may sound a little giddy today because we are when we start cooking with these things. These are so we get giddy. Am amazing. Th this is okra, and we are going to do one of our more popular dishes on the blog. Everyone always is wanting us to like do videos for things that are really popular, so it's time to do this. Yes. We are gonna show you how to make the classic stewed okra and tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. tomatoes. You say tomato, I Yay. say okra. Oh, so anyway, all, it's just delicious. It's really good. So now you've seen probably us cook with okra before. I love it. It's, it's very popular show. in the Southern United States. Um, it's also very, it's used a lot in Indian cuisine. It's used in some Asian food. So it's a very international. Uh, yes. This is a fresh, so we're, it's now summertime in Texas when we're filming this. So these are bountiful. Yes. And um, you can get them, they, you know, they sometimes they look a little, you know, a little banged up and a little, Not, you know, hey, who just cares? rinse them, they're, they're, they're fine. Um, but um, if you can't, if it's not in season, um, then you can, they sell them frozen. You can use that here. Um, fresh is always better, but frozen yes. will work too. This is too. like garden. Like you've just went to your garden and yeah. now you're just like eating out of it. Yeah, so <laughs> a, a very popular way to have this okra, I'm going to stop talking soon. The very popular way to have this okra, especially down south, is to mm. fry it. Um, deep fry it with a little cornmeal bread. Yeah. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Um, but we also really love to just do it with a little, just saute it with a little yes. garlic and some oil. And, and some salt. And some salt. Yes. It's so good. Oh, this this is, is just a little bit of a step up from all that. This is hearty and delicious, and it's just, it's classic. It's it's very popular during the holidays, but it's just, it's popular year round, and you're going to see why. Yes. So yes. I'm going to start talking, and we're going to talk about Let's that. Let's talk about these lovely well, things. Well, let me get this first going over here, so okay. then we can talk about sure, this. So I've got sure. a nice large skillet. I'm using my big old cast iron That's right. Um, now we're down south, so we got to do it the, the southern. <laughs> I am going uh, to. Is that bacon fat? That this I is bacon see grease. There? Yes, <laughs> it's bacon grease. But everything grease. everything takes better, better with a little bacon grease. So whenever I whenever I'm using bacon, I save my bacon grease. And then, um, but you need some sort of a fat to, to saute these vegetables with. If you don't have bacon grease on hand. Okay. Or if you would want to not use like an animal. If you'd animal. rather not use that, you can, um, uh, yeah, because, well, no, it's got chicken stock, but you could use oh, vegetable right. stock. But right. anyway, um, you could certainly use just butter, any kind of a, anything that you would use to saute your vegetables. Some okay, so now oil. I'm going to do, yeah, you could use all, olive oil. I'm going to put in, uh, this is about a half a cup of a diced onion. I've got a jalapeno um, that I've finely diced. And then I have got about three cloves of garlic that, that we've minced here. And I should say, I need to give a shout out. This is, um, I've been making this recipe for a while, and one of our favorite chefs down south, down in oh, yes. New Orleans, is uh, Donald Link. And uh, so this is very similar to, to his recipe. Yes, he's and, got um, a couple of restaurants down there, and one of his restaurants makes the best muffalata, muffalata, muffalata. <laughs> It's anyway, good. Yeah. So anyway, so while that, that's going to cook until it gets nice and translucent. So now let us tell you, one of the things that people say about okra is when you cut into it, if you've never cooked with it, it can have what, there's it's no other. It's slimy. Yeah, there's no other way to say it. It can have just a little bit of a it's slime just factor. just the derp of the inside. So the way that, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. Most people aren't. It's not terrible, but the way you the can kind of get rid of that is before you start cooking, get out a nice sized skillet. What we did is, first of all, we, we cut the ends off of these and then I got a knife and I just cut them into little you know sure. pieces. And then I got a nice large skillet that I heated a couple tablespoons of olive oil. You could use bacon grease if you want, but I used olive oil. <laughs> and then you get it nice and hot and then you just dump about four cups of this okra in there. Yes. And uh, you, you start to cook it for anywhere from like five to six, seven minutes. And it just kind of yeah. browns it up a little bit, and, and it gets and no more slime factor. It yeah. is de-slimed. It Look is at that. for the most part. You may see a little bit in there, but but it's, if, if yeah. normally if this was if this was just raw in here, and I pulled that out, it would be like you know somebody sloppy crying, and <laughs> you see just which sometimes stream. happens whenever you're in the kitchen. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna eat this right now. Yeah, yeah. They're so so it mm. is really good. I mm. know. I mean, that by itself, that has no like seasoning or anything on it. It's so still good. delicious. It's still delicious. Okay. Delicious. So I'm going to let this go for about another minute until it's really you know, kind of cooked down. And um, then we're going to add some other ingredients to, that are going to be the base to this incredible so okra. Can't wait. All okay, right. I mean, the smell already is this, insane. Those okay. look very translucent. <laughs> they do. So, this is uh, sort of like the down south 
uh, Holy Trinity or the, the mirepoix, um, <laughs> which is onion instead of celery, you use pepper and then um, some garlic. Anyway, yeah. so now we're going to add some fresh rosemary, and I'm so happy because this is rosemary that we pulled out of, our, know. Out of our own garden, and we're going to add that to the party. Now we're going to really start to deepen the flavors here. This is a tablespoon, I'm just using my fingers because they're nice and clean, I promise, of uh, tomato paste. Yeah. Then I've got some San Marzano uh, whole tomatoes canned, a 28-ounce can of San Marzano. Mm -hmm. Good old San Marzano is as good as you're going to find. Yes, make sure they're certified. Yes. And I, what I love to do is you can, you know, you can drain them, oops, and you can do a rough chop, but there's, you know, an old Italian theory, <laughs> wives' tale or whatever, <laughs> that if you, do, if you do them by hand, it's going to have a better taste. So, you know, sure. I'm not one to, to uh, dispute. And the energy of your body flows through the tomatoes into your dish. Now, that's what I've always felt. <laughs> okay, now we've got four fresh bay, uh, bay leaves to really, I mean, the flavor profile Ooh, of this is insane. It's insane. It's now, so good, and I can't even I know the wait. smell. And then we've got two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, which really adds a tartness and is oh. uh, just incredible. We're going to do a nice healthy pinch of red pepper flakes. That now this adds so just a great. little bit of kick to it. If you hate spice, you can leave that out. Yeah. If you like a lot of spice, do Put more than more that. in there, yeah. And then it's... we're going to do a teaspoon of salt, and then we're going to do just a healthy pinch of freshly ground black pepper, a little more because I love it. And um, now we're just going to let this all oh. cook for about 10 minutes until those so tomatoes really start to break down That's great. and it becomes almost like a paste. And then we're going to add in the uh, other ingredient, ingredients, and it's going to be ready. Man, I can't tell you. Okay, now folks. That is smelling, smelling like a good, like a good smelling thing. <laughs> so as you can see, this has been going for about ten minutes, and um, it's reduced down. To, I mean, those those tomatoes really broke down, and it's uh, reduced to almost like a paste. Now we've got a cup and a half of some good quality chicken stock. Uh, using homemade is always going to mm. be good. But um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to let that get fully incorporated. Look how beautiful that is. Leave those bay leaves in there. Um, and then we're going to bring, bring this to a simmer. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to thicken just a little bit uh, for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to add in the okra. <laughs> These lovely things. Yeah, that we've already done. And then it's about eating time. Yeah. Oh, the <laughs> smell just, is the, so it great. This is like... Each time you stew that, it just gets more and more fragrant. <laughs> He's just over here, here stewing. I know. Delicious. Oh. Okay, so now as Each you can time see, you stew it. <laughs> this, um, <laughs> this has been stewing for um, ten minutes, and you can see that it's just it's thickened. Those tomatoes are broken down. It's heavenly. All oh, right. thank you. Now we're gonna add the other main ingredient. That's right. So this is, and you know, as you can see, this this dish is really beautiful too. It um, is. I love the tomatoes against the the greenness of the yeah, okra. It's, it's like just, Christmas. I know. I think that's why this is popular on Christmas <laughs> celebrations and and. Uh, but um, so anyway, so now this is going to literally just it needs to simmer for about another eight to ten minutes. Wow. And um, and then, guys, you know, as always, taste it to make sure that the salt, <laughs> everything is just right. But then this is ready to go. I can't wait. Woohoo! Oh. It is done. And Isn't it look beautiful? at that. Beautiful. I just thought. All right. So when that I. That is um, gorgeous. Before, before I transferred it to this beautiful serving dish, I removed the bay leaves. And I just think these bay leaves are pretty. So I like to kind of have one That's on top. That's adorable. Thank you. Thank you. And it's I have to remove it. It's great for pictures. It is. Too. Now I have to remove it so we don't yeah. eat it. But anyway, <laughs> this is so good. So let me just tell you this. This serves easily for people. If you're serving a crowd, you can double this, and it's, it's wonderful. Um, it is so this is also one of those kind of dishes that you can make ahead of time. And, um, I mean, it's stewed, so then you just reheat it, and it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, so, come to um, me. Come okay. to me. Right, I'm going to bring this over, and I'm going to get yes. some to the balloon. Yes. And then I'm going to eat some because I this is... <gasps> now, <laughs> it's so delicious. So you can certainly... I you just, can see it's... Oh. It's it's almost like a gumbo. I mean, there is some sauce with it. Um, I seriously though could eat this just as like it's a, a main, it a is main like course. A, a, I know. Like, <laughs> and again, instead of using chicken stock, you can use vegetable stock, and then it's 100% uh, vegetarian. 
It's crazy. It might you know, be 100% something else, too. We never know. Oh, yeah, well, we'll have to wait and see about that. And then you can certainly uh, also serve this with a slotted spoon um, if you you know, you know think it's a little too juicy. But I, I think it's good. I love You need that you like tomato sauce. You like good and juicy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is hot, obviously. So well, I do bit. that too. Look at how right. delicious that looks. It's so pretty. Mm, I like this little plate too. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm so excited. Mm. Isn't mm. that heartwarming? Oh my stars. I have to swallow it quick because that was hot. Hot, I know. <gasps> but it's so comforting. It is so, so delicious. There's something about the the tomato and the okra. It just like, you know, it's like uh, Oklahoma where the tomato and the okra must be friends. They get along. <laughs> Why can't we be like tomatoes and okra? okra? I can't tell you, and I love that there's no slime factor going on in here. I know there's not, is there? I mean, it, it, no, it really is. not. And, and oh, and the everything you threw in there—the garlic and the just a little bit of the, the acid from the vinegar and just oh. a little the pepper. It's not too hot, right? Not too yes. spicy. Yes, you know what I do like to put on this though. What I like a little hot sauce. Oh, some yeah, some Louisiana hot sauce, Tabasco. That is mm. good. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm. Okay, so wow, Chris, that is one hundred percent Luna approved. Oh, what a relief! <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, now I mean, fans go crazy for this <sighs> and. and um, it I really know. is. It really is delicious. You haven't made this in a while. In a while, I know. So it's just, I forget about, you know, all these wonderful flavors. And it's, you know, it's very garden fresh. I love it. That is so good. Uh, I know, I haven't made that in a while. Oh my God. Now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeataloon.com. Oh my gosh, that's good. I know. Go to social media, like it, share it, do all that kind of stuff. Find yourself some okra. Mm. If you can get fresh, that's really good. And then, but like I said, if you can't, you can do the frozen. You can order it online. You can figure out how to do this. I love it. Because Let's, you got to make this. A new song. Okra homo. <laughs> okra what? Homo. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>